Hi, my name is Vince Riccio, and I'm a technical marketing manager at VMware, uh, focused on automation and the cloud management, cloud management business unit. Um, one uh, area I want to focus on today in this video is our multi-cloud management capabilities with NVRealize Automation. Uh, first thing you do when you want to go ahead and start consuming cloud is uh, setting up the cloud. And step number one in our product to do that is to set up cloud accounts. These cloud accounts essentially allow you to connect to your clouds um, and then we can consume, uh, ultimately consume compute and different resources in these clouds. Uh, some of the cloud accounts that you can connect to or the clouds that you can connect to via a cloud account with NVRealize Automation are AWS, Azure, uh, GCP, and then for on-prem and hybrid cloud, uh, we have first class tiles in here for vCenter, vCloud Foundation, and then VMware Cloud and AWS uh, for your hybrid and on-prem cloud uh, solutions as well. Then once the cloud accounts are set up, we set up what we call cloud zones. Um, actually, the cloud zones can automatically get created uh, once the cloud, zone, cloud account is uh, set up. And the cloud zones are essentially what, uh, what within the cloud, like let's say in AWS, what availability zones do you want to consume uh, from that account? Um, within vSphere, it could be clusters. So for instance, if we click on this AWS uh, cloud zone, we can see the compute that are available to us uh, from that cloud account. Then what we can do is we can tag these cloud zones. Um, so the tagging is very important for multi-cloud and cloud agnostic uh, provisioning. It allows us to provide the ability to do constraints and then capabilities with tags. So if a user chooses AWS at the time of deployment versus another cloud, then essentially we would only consume constructs that are uh, tagged with the appropriate AWS tags. The other way that we do some, uh, 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 let's say, uh, abstraction from the cloud during deployment is through mappings and profiles of network storage and images and sizing. And what this does is it abstracts uh, from you know images in the cloud, abstracts networks, uh, profiles use tags, and then mappings are just simply mappings to various things in the cloud. Okay, so once we've got the cloud set up from our cloud zones, our mappings, our profiles, and our cloud account, and then we've tagged everything properly, let's go into the designer and into our multi-cloud uh, deployment template. So the template is where we define our YAML. We can also source control these in Git. On the left-hand side, we have our different resource types. So our resource types are things like cloud agnostic machines or vSphere machines or AWS instances or, or Azure machines and Google machines. Um, and essentially, uh, the cloud agnostic means that we're not going to specify the cloud at the time of the deployment. We're going to let the user either pick the cloud uh, or we are going to allow other constraints and, and capabilities that we're looking for uh, to determine where to place it. Uh, so that just means we're not going to specify a specific cloud. We're going to let the system determine what cloud to go to based upon inputs or other constraints. But if you did want to specify a cloud, we can do that. Uh, and we also have a number of uh, various cloud native objects that you can drag and drop onto the canvas from AWS, Azure, and Google. So for instance, from AWS, I can drag and drop an S3 bucket onto the canvas, configure it, and that will go along with my deployment. So at this point, you've built out your multi-cloud solution, and uh, then you can start deploying into the cloud of choice. Thanks for watching.